and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Just want to back again, and uh, oh boy, we are on a slide. We lose two games in a row with uh, three points or less of a deficit. First between the winless Cowboys, and now between the Redskins, who gave us a hard time, especially in the run game. So we've definitely got to try and step things up here. We've got to change up some strategies. And we got to see how well things can go this time. Checking the injury report. Brian Walker is the only one who's going to be out while we got Corey Celestinger back. So we are focusing on the run game in this one. Uh, the only injury really for the Jaguars, they have got Jerron Bolden, who's going to be out for five more weeks with a foot stress fracture. So he's not going to be seeing action today as we take on the Jaguars. This one's going to be a fun one for certain. Since we're already in the middle of the week, we'll double check and see where the standings look. As the NFC's got a little more interesting. Saints lead the Buccaneers about a game and a half right now uh, while we're in the middle of this week. Lions and Packers tied at the NFC North, so we have got to get a win today or else we're going to watch ourselves slide while the Packers had a bye week in the last one. Uh, Eagles and Redskins now, thanks to Redskins win and the Eagles loss, Redskins are now deadlocked in the top spot with them. Eagles have the division, however, at the moment. As for the AFC side of things, the South is looking quite up for grabs. The Jaguars only a game out. They can definitely seal things in a better way if they can get a win against us here. Chiefs and Broncos are half a game apart as the Chiefs lead the division right now, 7-1. Bills still win, still winning. They are 8-0 at the moment as they lead the East over the Patriots right now by two games. Steelers are up a half a game over the Bengals as they're trying to hold them off in this one. We'll take a look at the the guys that we're going to have to watch out for, and I can already tell you one of them is going to be a big problem for us if we don't watch out. So looking at the quarterback situation, Byron Leftwich is going to be there. He's going to be the main guy that we're going to have to contend with at the quarterback spot. Fred Taylor, the ever-reliable running back, is going to be carrying the football where he can. As for the receivers, Jimmy Smith, he could be a bit of a problem. He's not as fast as he used to be, but he has still got a good bit of speed and everything. Reggie Williams will be the second guy out there. They also have Matthew Hatchett as well as Jermaine Lewis out there to catch passes. Uh, looking at the defensive side of things, we have got to look out for Marcus Stroud. He is wedged in the middle there. Him and John Henderson are going to be problems today for us. If we don't watch it, Tony Brackens and Hugh Douglas could also be troubles on the edge. As for the outside linebackers, Greg Favors is going to be the main guy with a Ken Aodell out there with him. Mike Peterson is going to be wedged in the middle between them. And then going to the cornerbacks, don't really have too much to war worry about, but Rasheen Mathis could be trouble if we don't watch it. Donovan Darius is one of the better strong safeties at this time, and then Deion Grant's going to be out there trying to help him out, so they'll definitely see if we can possibly come out with a win here. Josh Scobie's going to be their kicker, and Chris Hansen the punter, so hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more of Hansen than Scobie. So here we go. It is week 10 and we are ready to play some football. Let's see how well things can go here. How about we go with the all silver once again. We'll be right back with kickoff. Here we go. It's time for some more football everybody. Definitely going to be a fun one in the rain today. As the Lions take on the Jaguars, all tell stadium here in Jacksonville, Florida. This is going to be a fun one for certain. 
We're definitely going to be looking to try and see what we can do in this game, and hopefully we'll be able to have a bit more of a good run game now with Corey Celestinger back in the lineup. Definitely missed him. Jared Nicholas did very good at uh, being our backup while we had him, so definitely going to be seeing what we can do here. Marcus Stroud, you see right there, number 99, he's going to be problematic if we don't watch out. Jimmy Smith out there with Leftwich, and uh, Fernando Bryan out there with Harrington, so we're going to see how well the toss goes. We are not going to get it. They will receive, though, so... We're going to make sure we go with the wind on this kick. Jason Hansen lining up. It's going to be a good game today. I just realized it is going to be a good one. We're going to play hard, and we're going to come out with a victory today, if at all possible, as this kick's under underfoot and underway. Here we go. As there's a return there, that's going to bring out the 28-yard line. So first down. For the Jaguars here, let's see what left which decides he's going to do offensively in this one. If I was them in this kind of weather, I would definitely want to be going with the run. So Fred Taylor could be a good option here. As Taylor is going to get the handoff there, and he's going to carry that for four yards as he powers up the middle and to the left. You see the injuries. Brian Walker for us is out. Uh, Dewan Washington is going to be out with an illness. Jerron Bolden is out with his uh, foot injury. So those guys are not going to be in the lineup. So they could be quite vulnerable against the pass in this game. So we'll definitely see how well this is going to work out. So second and eight balls on the 32-yard line. Trying to pinch our linebackers here. Cover the middle. And that was a good option. So Fred Taylor will get the ball there. He'll get two yards on that one. See what they got this time. Big package there. Strong to the left. And Taylor's going to get another handoff. And he's going to barely get to the sticks. As he wants to say they got the first down. But I don't think they did. And that is going to be just shy, so it'll we'll make it fourth and in inches. As Boss Bailey out there definitely letting us know that we stopped him. Maybe he gets something out of it, not too, too much. Excuse me. So ball's going to be on 23-yard line as we start this one off. He's only averaging about seven yards of return, so not really a big return thing for him. Let's see what we got here. It looks like they've got Johnson out there. Let's see. I did bring in... I did bring in Larry Johnson as our back. So Larry Johnson's going to be out there making some carries here in this one. We're going to switch things up here. So Santana Moss in motion. Let's see what we got here on first down. He's going to be open. And that is going to be deflected. We'll try the run here. See what Corey can do. He's going to lower the shoulder. And he'll get upfield for about four yards. Probably should have stuck with him on first down. Let's see what we got this time. Hopefully we'll be able to get somebody open here. Back to pass. Going to launch this one towards Alexander. He will catch it, and then he'll get tripped up there. But that's going to be a first down for us right there on that one. Yes, yes, yes. We'll go ahead and no huddle this, see if I can get, get a good run up here with Schlesinger again. As Schlesinger is going to lower the shoulder, he'll get about a couple. They're in the dime, so hopefully be able to get something. As Johnson will get the handoff, but he's not going anywhere. That's, well, that ain't Stroud. That's the other guy. That's Henderson. John Henderson with a huge, huge tackle on that one. So that's making third and ten. So here we go on this one. Back to pass. 
Gonna look over the middle. Charles Rogers, our reliable target, has got it first down. On the season, 1,900 yards for the for the quarterback. As that's gonna be a good handoff. Johnson's gonna get it, and he'll power his way forward five yards. That's some running we need. Gonna go back to pass on this one. Gonna launch that one. Try to get to Ty Streets, and he's gonna get hit. Try and go over the middle again with uh, Charles Rogers. Back to pass here on this one. Gonna fire that one to Rogers. He will get it, and he'll hold on to it. First down. Donovan Darius on the season now with 49 tackles. He has been doing really well for them. Back to pass here on this one. Uh-oh. And Harrington had nowhere to go and there was nobody open. <laughs> that big four. Tony Brackens, the man that got past the end. And we did not need that for certain. That was a big, big tackle. Try to put Moss over in the middle of this time. See if maybe I can launch this one. Gonna launch this one towards Rodgers. He will get that, and he's gonna lay in the end zone. Touchdown. Rodgers with his third catch now as Detroit will get on the board. Backed up way up on that one, and Rodgers reached up and snagged it. Got past the safety in the corner, and that's a big touchdown there. Well, here we go. First and 10 on the 22. 210 left in the first. As they're going to fake the handoff to Taylor and throw that one over the middle. Good little toss there. That's a big catch. As Williams, 6'4, 220 pounds of rookie at this point. So first and 10 here on this one. Left, which is going to throw that to the tight end, and he's going to find the grass. Second down now, 145 left in the first. Single back with two tight ends in there. And they will hand that off. Taylor's going to go really nowhere. Going to make it third and nine. As Sean Rogers gets his name called today with the tackle. And it's going to be peanut time. A Jacksonville Jaguar fan will get a bag on that one. So let's see what we got here. It's going to be five wide now. They got three on the right-hand side, two left. Third and nine. Left which is going to see if he can bomb this one. And it's going to be a good throw to the right-hand side. Jeremiah Trotter, who has been riding the bench for the most part this season, comes out in this game in replacement of uh, Earl. So he's going to deflect that pass. That's going to be incomplete, and that'll make it four down. Earl Holmes, I was trying to think of his name there. I believe that's it. As that is going to be a big kick there. This one will land inside the 20. So... Get a bit of a return here. Swinton will get past the 20 to the 21. So first down as they're in the nickel here. We're going to hand that off. Johnson's going to get some speed to the outside. He'll get a couple there as Darius made the tackle. Good coverage by Donovan Darius. As you see his numbers on the season now, 50 tackles. He's got a sack as well. Trying to do a few things we don't normally do here. Back to pass on this one. Uh-oh. Harrington had absolutely no time. There's another sack. That's got to be Brackens again. It is. Tony Brackens back there. He is making the left end look horribly bad today. That was a huge little loss. We'll try trips left on this little set of downs trying to see if we can come up with something Harrington's going to go back to pass here going to fire that one over the middle and Ty Streets has got him a catch as the linebacker tried to make a play on it but he was just about uh, two, feet, two foot too short 
as that one goes right over the middle of Ty Streets with a catch, and that's going to make it first down, and that'll be the end of the first. So the Lions have the lead here in this one early. After one quarter, they lead it 7 to nothing over the Jaguars. We'll try this. See how this is going to work. It's probably not. And Larry Johnson's going to get a yard out of it. Thomas with a takedown on that one, but... Uh, yeah, just wasn't a whole lot of room there. Back to pass on this one. Oh, tried to throw that one in. That didn't work out. Guess who's back there again? Tony Brackens with his third sack. What? We don't even have a line. We just have a cardboard cutout, apparently. As Brackens back there in the backfield yet again he is making our left end look like he needs to retire three sacks now all three of those sacks have been hurtful i try and figure out what's going to be a good option here on this one we'll fire this one tire streets has got it and he's going to be able to break free he is going to be gone, or could be. Oh, wow. Ty Streets with another rare catch. He's got two now. As he found his way to the sideline, got open on that one. As nobody was on him, was able to make the catch and outrun the defender and just could not outrun the safety as Donovan Darius came over there to cut him off before he was taken down. Uh, taken down by Mathis finally after a long run as Harrington now over 2,000 yards after that wonderful play. See what we can do here. Going to toss this out and Johnson's going to try to make a move. He'll get stopped at the line, so nothing doing there. One of our other patented plays here. That's going to be a good handoff for Johnson, but he's going to get held up at the line. All right, here we go. Back to pass on this one. Going to throw that into the right-hand side, and Charles Rogers has got another touchdown as he gets hit on the out route. The cornerback didn't see him until it was too late. He reacted just a little slow. Rodgers with a catch and a touchdown. And that's going to be a handoff to the right. No, that's, he's going to break free. Fred Taylor tried to make some big moves there as you look at last year's numbers. 1,500 rushing yards. He had six, ton, six touchdowns but only four fumbles. Football, hopefully... For the Jaguars, he won't be doing that again as that's going to be a big handoff and Taylor's going to lose it. Just when I was saying something, he got nailed and Brock Marion laid on it. Well, that's a huge turn of events there. I was talking about his fumbles like it wasn't a bad thing and then gets nailed and coughs it up. Four minutes to go in the first half as Harrington will hand this off and Johnson will shimmy and then get taken down. Four-yard gain there as you see Coach over there talking with our guys. Definitely want to make sure that we stay focused today. Don't want to turn that football over, especially in this kind of weather. Try a weak outside zone here as you see Marcus Stroud, scariest guy that they have on the line. 34 tackles, seven of those are for a loss. As we're going to move man in motion, Ty Streets is going to move right to left and there's going to be a handoff there. Johnson will get a, get a little bit of room there. It's going to be about three yards. We'll try it again on third down. Johnson's going to get the handoff. He's going to try and move up forward, but he's only going to get about a yard there, so I'm going to make it forward down. Now let's see what we got here. This kick will be up, in, and good, just inside the left upright. As we go four plays, eight yards on the fumble recovery, and we score. So I'm going to make it 17 nothing. Funny thing, though, the Jaguars were, were a team that I played 
a while back and I turned a dynasty and I turned them into a dynasty as I traded for Tom Brady and uh, yeah we took Brady and the Jaguars and we won four let's see, I believe three or four titles it was three titles in four years that's what it was went to the Super Bowl twice won it back to back and then the next year we didn't make the Super Bowl and then we won it year after that. Houston and Indianapolis fighting for the top spot there. That NFC South is definitely an interesting division right now as all four teams are in the thick of it. I formation strong to the left. See what they do here is they're going to go back to pass and that's going to be a huge throw. Fernando Bryant knocks it down. That is going to be a huge one. Second and ten now. Try and get our guys in position. Trips right, single back. As Taylor goes over there with them. So that's going to be four wideouts on that side. As left, which nearly got destroyed back there. He threw it just a little too far out of reach for Jimmy Smith. That's going to be incomplete. Third and ten now. He is going with Trips left shotgun. And that's going to be a good throw right. And it's going to be in and out of the hands. Reggie Williams cannot hang on to it. So I'll make it fourth down. And Schlesinger's going to get it. And he'll only get a yard out of it. That'll be the two-minute warning as Peterson made the tackle. So far on the career, 586 tackles, eight sacks. He's forced five fumbles and recovered three himself. Middle. Back to pass. Going to throw that one to Alexander. And ah, that one off the hands. He might not have been ready for that one. Third and nine. As you look at Harrington's numbers, he has missed only three passes. So he has been doing really good. Both the touchdowns on that right-hand side, seven for ten, is definitely not the, nothing to scoff at for certain. All right, see what we got on this time. Back to pass here. The, ah, no time there. I thought about going to Charles Rogers over the middle. Then I was switching my mind to Moss. John Henderson, though, decided that the decision was to be sacked. Taylor, he's definitely going to be a good option here as they go I formation. 119 left in the half as they fake the handoff. Left, which is going to throw that one deep and is swatted. This back to pass here. Left, which is in trouble and he's going down. Dan Wilkinson with the sack and left, which hurries to his feet to call timeout. Third and 15 now. As you see, Wilkinson now with the sack as Brackens has got three on the day, so he's got some work to do if he wants to catch him. All by himself back there. He's going to throw that left, and that's off the hands. Jimmy Smith couldn't hang on to it, so that's fourth down. So I'm going to make it fourth and five, but that's going to be moot as it's the end of the first half. Lions dominating, and you usually don't put those two words together, Lions and dominating. End of the first half, Lions lead it 17 to nothing over the Jags. As we go to the halftime show, definitely going to be looking at a number of great things that have happened in this game so far. Lions with 188 yards. Jaguars have barely been able to get 39 yards. Time of possession definitely in favor of the Lions. One turnover for the Jaguars, and that has cost them for certain. A lot of defensive plays for the Jaguars in this one, especially Tony Brackens with three sacks on the day. Joey Harrington, so far, 161 yards passing. He's got two touchdowns, while Leftwich has got less than 20 yards. Uh, it has been a very difficult day for the Jaguars all around. Rodgers with 52 yards and two touchdowns. Streets with 80 yards, thanks to that big scamper that he had earlier in the game that led to the touchdown. As uh, you see the fumble recovery there by Brock Marion, he was able to pick that one up off the grass 
and was able to give the Lions another opportunity. And then you see Hanson's field goal there to get the game to 17 points. It was definitely a huge, huge first half of the Lions. They have got to try and see if they can continue with this kind of play as we look at the halftime hero, it is going to be that man right there, Charles Rogers. Four receptions, 52 yards, and a couple of touchdowns. He has been the man today. As we get back to the rainy Altel Stadium here in Jacksonville, the rain has definitely put a little bit of a damper on the Jags today in this one as uh, the Lions have come in and they have played some really good football. Thankfully, them playing indoors has not hurt them at all in this outdoor slugfest. As this kick will go deep, we'll just let that one skip out of bounds. So it banks off the guard back there. We take a look at the line possessions. It's been mostly good. Two touchdowns on the first two drives. Third drive was a field goal. Then they had to punt and just let the clock run out for the half in the last one. So definitely going to be looking at seeing what we can do here in this one as we will try let's see let's go with this one here and see Johnson can probably sweep this out left Johnson's got the speed so we'll definitely see if we can utilize that as Lessinger will lead the way good blocks here as Johnson runs a guy over but he's only able to get a yard there We'll switch things up here. Back to pass on this one. Gonna launch, oh, tried to launch that one, but the line all got in the way. I think the entire Jag line was back there in our backfield. Third and nine now, good night. Huh. As you see, Brackens and Henderson, four sacks combined for those guys. And we'll go back to pass here on that one. Go throw that and try to get it toward Moss, but he was jammed up. And I did not see it, so that is my fault there. Jaguars offset eye strong to the left. So they're doing a weak side offset, and that is going to be a yard there for Taylor. Not much there. They have not really done a whole lot. You see 827 yards on the season for them. As they go offset eye again here, they're going to hand off, and Taylor's going to break free. He's got some yards. He's breaking tackles, and finally shoved out of bounds. Big carry there. That's what they need. They got to spark this offense, and he's going to be the man to do it. Fred Taylor about as reliable as a halfback as you could have as he powers through everybody. First and 10 now, ball is going to be on the 25-yard line as Leftwich puts Smith in motion. Single back strong to the right as Leftwich goes back to pass, and oh, that was off the hands. Kyle Brady had that one, and it would have been a touchdown for certain, but he dropped it. So second and 10 now, single back as they put Williams in motion. And there's going to be a, ooh, he's going to get nailed there. Big blitz there. That's Lehman. He came in there and made a huge hit on the quarterback. Teddy Lehman nailed the quarterback. That's a sack for him today. Left switch and shotgun. He's going to go back to pass. He's going to throw that one, and that one is picked off. Cash in front of it. You don't say his name much. As he reached up and wiped it. Chris Cash. One of her replacement corners. He jumped up and found the football. Tackled at the 17-yard line. First and 10 from here. We're going to do the draw play. And Johnson will run over the linebacker. But he's going nowhere else. One yard is all he's got. Johnson's not really had a big running day, but he has been consistent about trying to get the one or two yards that we're looking for him to get. I 
Trying to see maybe be able to get moss on this one. We'll also put, uh, yeah, we'll also do this. I'm gonna go back to pass here. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. That was definitely not good. There's another sack. I think, I think one of the things I may have to look at in the draft is gonna be an O line. As Marcus Stroud comes through, and yeah. The rollout to the left was not a good option, and then coming back to the pocket was not a good one either. Stroud has got two tackles now. One's a sack. Third and 17 now. Back to pass here on this one. We're going to launch this one deep. Can Rodgers get another one? Yeah, he did. And then he dropped it. So that's incomplete. Washington, one of the guys over there made that one. And that's going to be uh, Rashan Jones made the made the SWAT. Could have got a little more out of that one. It's okay, though. You see the Jaguar possessions, two punts, then the fumble, two more punts, and then the interception. So they have not really done much at all offensively. Uh, everything that has seemed like it's worked out for them has ended in disaster at some point or the other. As it is first and ten now on the 44-yard line. Jaguars looking here. That's going to be a toss left. And Taylor's going to find room. He's going to get shoved out of bounds. That's going to be a first down and a big one for the Jaguars there. As they need to get some kind of offense going. That will put them... Right there, close to the 30. So Fred Taylor now, nine attempts, 56 yards. He's got the carries. And they will hand off again. And Taylor is going to find a little room. So that'll make it second and five. As that is going to be a... Gonna be a handoff again, and Taylor's gonna get it. Dan Wilkinson tried to make the tackle, but just could not wrap him up. So big package there, single back to the left. As that's gonna be a big handoff, and Taylor's gonna get just enough. He got about a couple on that one, but he only needed one. First down, Jaguars. Sean Rogers on the season, ten tackles, three sacks so far on the year. Definitely trying to see if he can make an impact in this game as he made the tackle there. And this is going to be a handoff and Taylor's going to find no room. We blitzed and jammed up the middle and there was no way he was getting through that one. Second down now. Second and 13 is left which is going to see if he can get this drive going as they're going to move Williams in motion. Dre Blab following. High formation here. Let's see what they do. As left, which will short drop that one. And Corey Bird steps up from the safety position and swats that down incomplete. Here. Single back, one tight end right. And they're going to throw that one. That one's going to be caught. Reggie Williams has got a catch. Just enough of the first down. That'll make it first and goal. As the Jaguar faithful trying to stay into the football game here with the wave. As Reggie was right at the first down marker. That's exactly what you want to do is know where the first down marker is. And try to get possession past it. So first and goal now. Ball at the nine. See if they can punch it in. So I formation, or excuse me, single back, and they'll hand that off as Taylor is going to get drugged down at the line. Dan Wilkinson followed him the whole way. <coughs> single back, two tight ends in there. And they're going to hand that off, and Taylor's going to find nowhere to go again. Try and get Marion over there on that, that one side as he's going to roll out. And it's going to be all day. He took all day and he did not need to. That's a sack. <coughs> that was James Hall who came off the edge there. He got around his guy and left, which couldn't find anybody. And he just ate that one. 
So Jaguar is going to look to try and put some points on the board here as they look to kick the field goal. See if they can get this one. 35-yard attempt. And this will be up, in, and good. Jaguars on the board for the first time today. 11 plays, 26 yards, and they walk away with the field goal. Let's going to see if we can go maybe off tackle here on this one. Defense is in a 4-3, so maybe he'll be able to do something with it. Johnson's going to get it. Lower the shoulder. And he'll get seven. It's probably one of the better runs he's had today. As that'll be the end of the third quarter. Jaguar fans are going to start losing hope. As three quarters are done. Lions still lead this 17-3. to three, As the Jaguars have only been able to narrow the gap slightly. Gonna fake the audible here. We're gonna see if we can get something up the middle. As Johnson will power through one guy and plow through for about a four yard gain. First down. As you see, Donovan Darris. He's got some good things today. Let's see what we got here on this one. Might be able to try and get Rogers. Gonna fake the handoff and oh Harrington, no time. They blitzed and that was it. That's another sack. That's gotta be like seven on the day. As that was Aiken uh, Aodell. And that was a huge little loss there for us. Definitely did not need that. So here we go. We're going to try to play action again. Back to pass here on this one. Going to fire that towards Alexander, but that one deflected. Nice play there. All right, back to pass here on this one. Going to try and, oh, try to launch at the Moss, but they were blitzing. John Henderson in and back there again. Mm here. -hmm. I formation strong to the right. See what they do here. Back to pass is left, which is looking, and he's not. He's not going to be denied that one as he was able to get that one off in time. That's going to be a big catch, a big gain, and a big first down. It was nearly back there with the, set, uh, with the linebacker, but just could not get it. It's Jimmy Smith with a big, big carry on that one after the catch. So I'm making first and 10 on Detroit 37-yard line. Jimmy Smith has only got one catch. He's been thrown to six times, though. That's the thing. Offset eye, weak side. As left, which goes back to pass. He'll throw that one deep over the middle, and that one's picked off. Brock Marion has got one. As that is going to bring it out to the 18-yard line. Brock Marion has made an interception. That one. First down and 10 on the 18. And here we go. We're going to hand that one off. And Johnson will lunge forward. And he'll get a couple yards there. As the offense has turned the ball over three times today. It has not been good for them. I feel kind of bad for not allowing Moss to have so many catches. But we're going to bomb this one to Moss, and Moss will get that one, and he's going to bring that one all the way downfield. That's a big catch there for Santana Moss. And then, So you see Streets and Rogers on the day as six combined catches, 130, 140 yards between them. As there's a handoff to Johnson. Johnson found the wrong hole there. I was trying to cut it back left, but Johnson had to squeeze by the guard, and it didn't work out. Back to pass here on this one, and actually, we'll just take off. Why not? Harrington's going to slide down near the 30. That's a big first down. Nobody watched him. We'll move Alexander in motion here. Less than three minutes to go in the game. Back to pass on that one. 
Harrington's just going to run again, and this time he's drugged down from behind, but not before getting nine yards, so Harrington's definitely trying to make some plays. Try and give this one to Johnson, see if he can get the yard we need. And that's going to be a good handoff. Johnson will lower the shoulder and protect the football. First down, Lions. And that'll be the two-minute warning. So two minutes to go, and this game will be over. And the Lions definitely happy about that. As you see, Aiken Oyodel, nearly 60 tackles on the year. And it's going to be a handoff to Corey. Corey's going to lower the shoulder. He'll get a couple yards, and Jaguars will call a timeout. We'll try that one more time, see if maybe get something. And Schlesinger will get the handoff, and he'll get maybe a couple more there. Timeout, Jaguars. Going to work out third and six now, 152 left. And, oh, Johnson's going to drop the football. And that one's going to be picked up. Jaguars will have it on the 18-yard line. 149 left in the game as Larry Johnson dropped that one. See what they do here. Short drop. That's going to be thrown quickly. And Fernando Bryant, one of the guys in the way. Left which in shotgun. Back to pass here. Left which is going to fire that one. That was caught. And that's going to be a timeout now. Jaguars have no more timeouts. Left which on the season, though. He does have 1,735 yards. As they go single back here, three wide. Left which will try. Oh, wow. Okay, we had that little glitch that happens every so often. The little glitch that does happen every so often when the quarterback tries to run on a short drop and tries to pass it past the line of scrimmage, so he locked up there. Third and ten. At the very least, that would have been an illegal forward pass there. But uh, we benefited there with that tackle. So third and ten now, single back. They've got four wide, and they've got to do something with it. And Leftwich will throw that. It's going to be a catch, as I believe that was Hatchet that made it. Might not have been. And back to pass here on this one. As he's going to throw that one. That one's going to find the grass. Tried to hit Taylor, but no good. So offset eye this time. Let's see what they got here. As left, which is going to avoid a sack, and then he's going to throw an interception. Jeremiah Trotter in front of it. Can the big man go? Can the big man go? Not quite. Taking down the 12-yard line. Jeremiah Trotter comes in his first game in a while and makes an interception. As he stepped in front of it. Detroit has a huge first half of football. And they hang on in the second half to win it. Lions defeat the Jags 17-3 in this one. As the Jaguars just could not overcome the big problems that they had in this one. The Jags' offense was just non-existent today. The defense was there and was there all day, but other than just limit the Lions, couldn't really do much. Four turnovers also the big story there. Jaguars, 144 yards ending on the day. 274 yards for the Lions, nearly uh, about 81 yards rushing there for them. As you see the sacks again, Brackens with three, Henderson with two, and Stroud with a sack. Big day for him, 193 yards for Harrington's. He ends the day with two touchdowns. So he's probably going to be the player of the game in this one, for certain. As you see, one of the many interceptions that happened in this game. It was definitely a fun one, for certain. A lot of the highlights here pretty much showing. You see Fred Taylor's numbers down there, only 64 yards carrying on the day, so they could not find what they needed on the ground they they ran well when they did run they just did not run enough i feel like that was the major problem
And now getting to the player of the game. Obviously, Joey Harrington in this one as he brings his team to victory. Harrington's going to end the day with a couple of touchdowns, 193 yards, 8 for 15 on the day as we tried to rely a little more on the run game. So definitely helped out for certain as it was just real fun all around. 138.2 rating for Harrington as he uh, 8 for 15, 53% on the day no interceptions got sacked seven times though so that's something we gotta definitely look at in the off season uh jacksonville jaguars byron left which ends with a 4.2 rating five for 20 on the day 80 yards three interceptions and he was sacked three times on the day byron uh excuse me Byron's backfield wasn't too bad as Taylor 15 for 64 yards on the day. Larry Johnson 23 for 45, so he was a workhorse as uh, Celesinger ran for 5 for 11, so he was definitely trying to do what he can to be the workhorse he needed to be. Uh, Rogers ends the day four catches, 52 yards, and two touchdowns. Roy Reggie Williams, excuse me, two for 32 on the day. Ty Streets, two for 88 yards there. As uh, Jimmy Smith had a catch for 23. Hatchet, one for 13. Lewis, one for 12. While uh, Alexander had one for 21 yards. Santana Moss, one for 32 in his day today. A lot of tackles for the Jaguars. Seven for Peter Peterson and Darius. While... Uh, a. Odell had five tackles and a sack. Henderson had four tackles, two sacks. Hall had four tackles and a sack. While Thomas Bracken, Stroud, Grant, and Favors all with three tackles. Bracken's, all three of his were sacks. Stroud had a sack as well. While other guys like Bryant, Rogers, Marion, and Lehman all with three tackles as well. One sack for, for Teddy Lehman, Lehman in this one. Excuse me. Mathis, Washington, Hendricks, Edwards, and Lewis all had a couple of tackles in this one and various players with with a, a huge, huge day getting a tackle as well. Marion Cash and Jeremiah Trotter, all three with interceptions for the Lions today. So it was definitely fun for them. Both kickers able to hit the field goal that they hit. Hanson with a 45-yarder hit his and then Scobie hit the 36-yarder, so was definitely good for them. Appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoy the content, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of it. Uh, we'll definitely be trying to see if we can continue the winning ways as we have a tough bit of matchups coming up. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and may God bless you.